In the past two to three months, we have seen many revolutions popping up in the Mid and the Middle East as people are fighting against their governments and leaders for their freedoms and rights. No one can deny that this is a good thing, but I have seen a shocking similarity between the riots in the Middle East and the Union protesting in Wisconsin. The United States has gone through tough economic times, and even though the economy has shown high numbers, in some cases record high numbers, the unemployment rate continues to be very high. Now in these hard times, we all gotta make sacrifices to cut down the debt, and Wisconsin governor knew that he had to, and what he chose to do was to was decided to, he wanted to try and take the bargaining rights away from union members. Now in these hard times, we all gotta make hard choices, and sometimes we even have to make unpopular choices, but to take away some of the key rights from the people in the workplace? It is through unions, it is through these bargaining rights that a person can work hard, go home, and live in what we call the American dream. Increasing gas prices, more and more people are finding themselves not leaving the American dream, but sitting down at the kitchen table trying to figure out, you know, what should I cut here, what should I cut there, how do I pay this bill, how do I pay that bill, and how do I just survive in these hard times. The American dream has become, just as it says, a dream. The people of the middle class continue to struggle as the American dream starts to vanish entirely. And we're starting to see the middle class is actually getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the high upper class or the Wall Street roller, High Rollers Club continue to make a profit in this economy even though they are responsible for this entire mess. If union members bargaining rights get taken, what comes next? Education? In which case, education the expense of education continues to grow higher and higher every year, and it takes the average college graduate to the 33rd birthday to pay off all the student loans. And now, which some people are saying that going to college just isn't worth it. As prices increase, it continues to become harder to live the American dream. And the middle class continues to shrink and shrink to the point where it becomes just like the American dream itself, a dream, something that has almost vanished. When we can no longer keep up with the debt, when the cost of living becomes just too high, when prices of gas, food, and other essentials just become just way too high and we cannot be able to pay for them, will we be the ones saying enough is enough? As the Mideast, as the Mideast fights for its freedoms and rights, will we one day soon fight to recapture the American dream? It doesn't matter if you're in a democracy or a dictatorship, if you pushed a people too far or you shove them a bit too far, they will push and shove you back. If the United States of America wishes to avert this, something has to change.